Thanks to Manasquan Bank for sponsoring Shore Sports Zone's coverage of Manasquan High School. In our Manasquan Bank Game of the Week, the Warriors boys lacrosse team hosting Rumps and Fairhaven for the South Jersey Group 2 Championship. RFH beat Manasquan two weeks earlier for the Shore Conference title, but a different story on Saturday morning. James Pender just fires low and gets the goal. Manasquan jumps out to a 4-0 lead in the second quarter. RFH gets on the board later in the second. This is Henry Sillen grabbing the loose ball and scoring. We've got a 4-1 game. But Manasquan was in control. Pat Felstedt with a great shot. He had two goals at the half. Manasquan leads Rumson 5-1. Early third quarter, the Warriors got a huge effort from freshman Canyon Birch. Already committed to Army, this is one of his three goals as the Warriors take a five-goal lead. Rumson Fairhaven was once again led by Robbie Garavante. He had two goals, the Bulldogs down 6-2 but Manasquan continued to get great scoring balance from its entire roster. This is John Moran to make it a 7-2 Warriors lead. The rest of the story was outstanding defense and goaltending. Rumson Fairhaven came into this game averaging 11 goals a game, but Tom Pollock was able to keep the Bulldogs out of the net with great saves like this. Pollock finished the game with seven saves. Manasquan wins a boys lacrosse sectional final for the first time in school history. The Warriors play for a state title this Wednesday against Chatham. For Coach Sean Cunningham, a great moment winning a championship in front of a big home crowd at the Seagirt Army Camp. You know, we don't have the fanciest field and uh, facilities, but uh, be damned if it isn't, you know, one of the more fun venues to come play a game. And, uh, you know, luckily for us, we got on Memorial Day weekend at the beach. You can't ask for much more. And you get a great matchup like that. You know, hats off to Rumson. They're just a phenomenal team. You saw it, you know. And uh, two weeks ago, they took it to us, and, and fortunately, we were able to make some adjustments and come out on top today. But that's, uh, you know, you play that game 100 times, that's probably a 50 50 split or a 51 49 split in their favor, <laughs> if I'm being honest. They're a great team. They, uh, they have uh, hit us last time, and we definitely uh, took that, used it as motivation. I can't even explain it. I'm just trying to take it all in. Uh, it's just an awesome feeling. Just, we, like, it's just great because we lost to the short conference, and just that extra momentum from that really helped us beat them this time. Probably hasn't totally hit me yet because we still got another game coming up and we just got to keep working for that, but it's unbelievable. It's, I can't, I'm never going to forget it. For more Jersey Shore sports, log on to shoresportzone.com.